Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my first uh, tutorial. Uh, someone asked me as a reaction of one of my YouTube videos how it was made and if I could do a tutorial. So here we go. This is the scene. Uh, first, the, the story we've got our heroes being chased by a jet through the city. Our heroes have an RPG or some, some type of um, anti tank weapon. They don't know how to work it, they shoot this building right here, shoot the edge of the building, the debris falls off, the debris ends up hitting the jet, jet disintegrates into pieces. Let's see how that works. So just hold K to pause it. Here we got the jet uh, RPG. I still need to add that. This is just a, a teaser bit what I made. So here you see the debris. Jet comes in, hits the debris, and here's pieces of jet, and these are pieces of the building plus um, uh, some dust. So if you look at that in 30 frames per second, it's like this. Bang, and it's gone. It took forever to render. In the meantime, I figured out what I should have done differently here with the to render settings to make it a lot quicker. Now it took, um, what is it, three seconds, took about 100 hours to render. Could have done it in a couple of hours, probably. Anyway, um, to make it more interesting for me, I'm just going to make a different scene that I'm going to use in my next episode with a green screen. But I'm going to use exactly the same basics and then afterwards I'm going to walk you through the, the setting the whole setup with the jet. I'm gonna use green screen up I, I prefer to do it in the scene itself but I couldn't get the scale of my landscape right. Uh, I had to scale it up like two thousand percent and the whole um yeah the whole texture got went funny when I scaled the car down to the size of the landscape. The, the suspension went funny so wheels were flying around so that didn't work so end up doing it in green screen you see this all the time um, you've got a horizon now but when I press render more the the warnings um, this is how it's gonna look so um, and you can use this uh, what I'm going to show you uh, in many different ways so this barrier that I'm going to smash through with this car, that's a plan at least, you can use a window and a football for instance, or this could be the text with your name, and this could be like an invisible object that you're going to smash through your text and uh, have it in all sorts of uh, pieces. So I'm going to do this in a program called Cinema 4D, and I'm going to use a plugin made, made by Nitroman which you can download from his site, which I'll, um, I'll link in the description. And I'll also put a link in for these models of the barrier and the car. And those are free models. The Nitro Blast plugin I'm going to use is not free, but on the site there's also a free version which um, can do similar things, slightly less powerful. It's called Throusy. And if you like Cinema 4D, I recommend you to, uh, to look at the other plugins as well. He's got lots of um, free or cheap plugins that are very much worth it. So anyway, here we go. We've got the barrier. We've got the boom. And the boom is just this bit. Basically, we need to break the boom. To do that, we'll open the Nitro Blast. There we go. And as you can see here, we'll put the quality to high. Let's put it in five pieces. That's not a whole lot. I'll, um, I'll tell you later why. And for the fun of it, just break it like it is. And here, down here, you can see it's breaking. It's going to take some time depending on your machine, but it's calculating all the bits. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. Uh, so there we go. So let's see what that looks like. So here we go, and, and you see immediately as we press play, the whole boom falls down and breaks into pieces. That's not quite what we want. We want 
the pieces to start when the car hits so you can do that immediately in the, the main thing but you can also do it later so if you press your nitro blast object then over here you can change the immediately to collision press play let's see what happens I think to the car I'm not sure I added some speed so yes yeah, so it should start driving um, if, if you're going to use a, a ball or any kind of object then this car you would just keyframe it so in this position time scale zero keyframe and keyframe past the boom and bang there we go okay so it's not exactly what I'd like um, because there's still this bit floating in midair so that's that's a bit funny so that's just a matter of moving the car over a bit so it hits and let's try it again because it's okay if if you got a bit here it's like when you break a window you don't want pieces of glass in midair hanging but it's okay if it's near the window frame uh, I mean that just that should make it look more natural so here it will look good if, if there's a bit sticking here but you don't want a bit here obviously so here we go again and again we've got this bit floating so anyway it's a bit fiddly so if this doesn't work I'll just press on and uh, pretend that it did work just to, to save us some time I'm already going for too long I thought I could explain this in within a minute but apparently I can't so here we go I made a car by the way with um, another uh, plugin from Nitro Man which is called Magic Car it's a free plugin and if you want to do anything with cars I recommend check it out it's, it's quite easy see there we go Okay, so that's pretty cool, but obviously, so we're breaking these bits, and you see now I can select these bits individually and go back to our plugin and plugin check the last main, and I can break these bits again because in my mind this is kind of a a wooden. Um, a wooden boom so where the car hits you have lots of small bits but the sides would break off in much bigger bits so with this plugin you got quite a bit of control so let's see if I'm not lying there the car okay. maybe I should just make the car the starting point What's also cool, if, if you make the car invisible, which you can do by just clicking these, make these buttons red by clicking them, um, you can add this fracture boom in your own footage. See, there we go, there we have a lot more bits. So anyway, just use your imagination, you can do anything with this, but like I was saying, if you have just this boom fractured by an invisible car, you can put this on the footage of you driving the car you borrowed from someone else and say hey look what I did with your car uh, that'd be really funny I think so let's look at this jet thing so here's the scene with the jet so if I press play it's gonna it's gonna look familiar there we go see jet building already exploded all this grey stuff is dust and bang and there we go Piece of pieces coming out. So what I've got here is the scenery. Uh, so all the other buildings have been made uh, with the grayscale city kit, which is a really easy way to create a cityscape. Now the reason I opted for this uh, street level view is that the ground looks kind of poor 
I mean, you can add street and stuff. It's a lot of extra work, so I didn't bother. So I just decided to look up, uh, which made it a lot easier. Um, and then uh, with the jet, I did exactly the same things with the boom. So I broke the jet into pieces and then selected the on collision. So on the collision with the debris from the building, it falls apart. With the building itself, because there's no collision, I just opted for instantly, but then the, all the debris would just fall down, so that looked bad. So I added this nitroblast bomb. There we go. Hello. See, and here you can s select when it starts. So at 20 frames, the explosion starts. You can select the power and you can scale it as well like so so become uh, comes active over a bigger area so I put it in there so the bits actually shoot out words of the building so you have a bit more of an explosion than just the bits falling down the side of the building which looks poor one thing with nitro blast it doesn't do well with pretty textures so if I select the building itself and then go to my plugin um, and let's say I break it into six pieces I'm going to go overboard and we'll just wait yep, it's done already let's see now see that that just looks poor um, I mean if you render this might take a while. I mean, you, you can get this right, but it's going to take a hell of a lot of work. You, you have to get your model a lot better. I mean, this is basically just a box with, uh, with a texture on it. Um, if, if you want to have a building explode properly on you, then, um, you need to make separate windows, separate window sills. You, you need to go extremely detailed to make that look good, uh, which is possible, but it's uh, it's beyond the scope of what I'm trying to do. But as you see, this 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 doesn't look right. I don't know what it looks like, but it's um, I mean, it could could be art, I suppose. But um, no, I don't think it's uh, it's useful for this anyway. So, um, anyway, I hope this uh, gets you started. I, uh, I encourage you to be creative. Um, it, it's a very easy plugin to use. Um, so the only limit is your imagination. So, uh, good luck.